right, what's up guys? So we've got another little comparison of these impacts. We've actually looked at them before, but today we got some uh, heavier bolts to uh, drive through this uh, four by six. Uh, last time we tried this, it was just with regular uh, four inch wood screws and uh, it kind of struggled with the bits jumping around everything, trying to get them in there as fast as possible. So uh, once again, we got the uh, DeWalt DCF885, which is the brushed um, one speed impact. Uh, it's like an older one, but it's still relevant. I've got two batteries for it. I got the standard 1.5 and then the upgraded two amp hour XR battery. And then over here, we got the uh, Ryobi P238, which is their newer uh, three speed brushless impact driver. Um, We've also got two batteries for that. There's a standard 1.5 and then this upgraded three amp hour uh, HP battery. Uh, supposedly these HP batteries give these brushless tools a bit of a uh, advantage because they've got more uh, contacts to increase the current when the tool calls for it. How does that stack up against this tried and true DeWalt? Let's find out. All right, I'm gonna line these up as straight as possible and uh, let it rip on three. Ready, one, two. It's a lot harder to do than it looks. Uh, we're just gonna do one at a time for now. All right, uh, got it set up. Let's let this rip. Ryobi on the right, DeWalt on the left, both at full throttle. A little close for comfort, but see how it goes. Ready? On three. One, two. Oh, again, fail. Oh. Uh, gonna give props to the other YouTubers that uh, make this look easy, doing two at the same time. It's really not. There's something I'm doing wrong, but hey, trial and error. Okay, so we're gonna do it one at a time. Um, we'll just kind of go off feel uh, which feels faster to me and then you can decide which is faster. All right, so uh, let's try the DeWalt first actually. Um, gonna just line it up and then see where we go. On three, one, two. All right, that went in pretty smooth. Didn't really struggle at all and that's just a standard battery. Let's see what the Ryobi can do. They were uh, pretty lined up um, as far as what was already in the wood, so should be pretty even. On three, and speed three too, by the way. One, two. Uh, I'm gonna actually say the DeWalt won that one. Um, don't have official times or anything, but just by how that felt, felt like the DeWalt had quite a bit more power. Uh, let's go ahead and step it up to the, uh, bigger batteries for these guys and see what they do. Let's, let's actually try to take these bolts out first. Let's do the Ryobi, take out the DeWalt and vice versa. Oh, that one's in there. Ready? Go. Oh yeah. That's not going anywhere. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. That one's in. Got a permanent lag on that side. Let's see if this side will come out. Nope. Don't want to damage these uh, nut drivers, but uh, those lags are in there. So let's just step up to the bigger stuff and the bigger batteries. All right, we're back. We got two uh, new lags in here. There's the old one still stuck in there. Hopefully you can see that. But um, they are still 7 16 but they're quite a bit longer, so... Should be a, more of a struggle for both. But we got something to help them out. This has got the two amp hour XR battery. And this is the three amp hour HP battery. Again, this uh, is a larger battery obviously, but it's all I had, so gonna have to make it work. Let's let the DeWalt go first. Once again, line it up on three. One, two, Just went ahead and finished that. 
uh, right when the uh, tip hit because I didn't want to lose this lag like I did that one. Um, definitely didn't struggle. Went in there uh, pretty smoothly, actually. The anvil kicked in right off the bat. It's not really hot or anything either, so it's pretty good. Let's see what this Ryobi can do. Same size bolt, same driver, new upgraded battery just like the DeWalt had. Let's line this up and on three. One, two. Oh, see the pheasant? Hopefully got that on camera. I got a whole zoo back there. A um, lot of wildlife I'm lucky to have. A few pheasants just flew away. That must have spooked them. But uh, the Ryobi... Feels like actually was just a little more powerful um, compared to the DeWalt, which it should be because it's newer. Uh, it dug actually that in deeper, not intentionally, but it did. So let's see if I can take out the uh, DeWalt's bolt with the Ryobi and then the Ryobi bolt with the DeWalt. Here we go. Ready? One, two... Effortless. Let's see. Little, little warm, but not really. Uh, let's see if this side will come out. Hopefully, it will. On three, ready. One, two. There we go. And I don't know if you could tell, but it seems like the Dewalt actually struggled a little taking out the Ryobi bolt, and the Ryobi definitely didn't struggle taking out the Dewalt bolt. So let's set this up one more time, uh, give it another uh, run or two, and then we'll move up to the bigger stuff. Got it set up again, uh, same bolts, but just new holes. Let's go ahead and let the Ryobi go first this time. Uh, again, speed three, three amp hour battery. Let's see what it can do. Let's do this one first. On three, one. Oh, make sure that's, yeah. On three, one. Two. Got that in there. Um, was at a little bit of an angle, but it still got it in, no problem. Uh, it didn't even really seem like it struggled at all. Pretty much just kind of took it like uh, you would expect a new modern tool to take it. So that's always good to know it's capable of more. The odds are of using this side bolt, um, this is about as big as most homeowner type projects will ever use, so should be good to go for pretty much anything. Um, let's try again with the DeWalt on the other side, and on three. One, two... Again, without timing it or anything, I'm going to say the Ryobi... Whoa. Almost sounded like it had a, a gear or something that needed to click into place. Um, the uh, Ryobi feels like it was uh, quite a bit faster than that. Um, the DeWalt, I felt a little bit of struggle as it was going down, but it still went down the same. So let's, uh, again, try to uh, take out the... Uh, DeWalt screw with the screw with the Ryobi, and then the uh, Ryobi screw with the DeWalt, just like last time. On three, one, two. No problem. Let's see if the DeWalt can do that just as easily. On three, one, two. You definitely had some struggle, but hey, it still got it done. Um, not really hot. It's warm, if anything. Um, still has full bars, three bars of battery on this. It's kind of hard to see in the sun, I'm sure. And then the Ryobi still shows all four bars. So uh, we didn't do too much. The battery is still at least fairly full. So uh, let's go ahead and switch this out and see what else it can do. Let's try to do uh, another side-by-side. -side. Hopefully it works this time. See if this lines up with these uh, bigger bolts. 
Hopefully it will. And if not, hey, not the first time I messed up on it. On three. One, two. That didn't work. Struggled real. Do this Ryobi just to even out the battery. Definitely the Ryobi is more powerful. It does have a bigger battery, but not that much. Just one amp hour larger. Um, but either way, let's uh, one more time take them out in reverse order. Ryobi on DeWalt, or DeWalt on Ryobi. Ready? <laughs> kind of heard it struggling that time. Again. Ready? Say definitely the DeWalt's faster. Let's break out the big boys. All right, we got them just kind of chilling out for a second. I'm just going to show you what the uh, larger uh, lags I'm about to screw in are. These are actually the 4x10 inch uh, screws that I used for the first demo. Um, kind of struggled with that, with just jumping around. Then I jumped into uh, same width as this, but... Uh, about two inches shorter, which are actually sunk in there. I can't get them out now, which is fine. Uh, they're cheap. Uh, then I, again, this was the second set that I just did multiple passes with. It's a uh, 7 16 And that kind of pushed at least the DeWalt to the limit. Uh, felt like at least. Um, the Ryobi felt like it still had some life in it, but the DeWalt was kind of struggling. This next big one is this half inch. It is... I believe half inch by uh, six. And then this is a four by six, but it realistically it's three and a half by five and a half. So it's actually longer than this board, just ever so slightly. Um, so if these are successful, they'll drive it straight through this big old chunk of wood. Let's see what they're capable of. All right, so uh, let's get these big boys in here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the DeWalt first and uh, see what it can do. On three. One, two. Wow. It got it in there just a little short. Uh, Felt like it was really struggling. Let's see if I can finish it off. Yeah, it got it in there. Um, definitely struggled. It did crack the wood though, so that just kind of shows you how hard that was. Let's go ahead and give this a shot with this Ryobi on speed three. This larger battery, make sure it's clicked in properly. The bolt on three. One, two. I would say the Ryobi was actually uh, quite a bit faster. I couldn't pay as much attention to it, obviously, because I kept having to grab this so it wouldn't fall. Uh, let's do it in reverse order. Let's have the DeWalt take out the Ryobi bolt and then vice versa. One, two... Definitely some struggle there. Wondering if the way I'm holding it affects the, you know, obviously the circulation of the little fan, which might slow it down a little, but who knows. On three, ready? One, two. Nice. Um, I will say, just kind of notice with the, the uh, drill moving, when I'm using the DeWalt, it doesn't really shake the wood as much because the Ryobi stays in place. It is a heavier drill, but every time I use the Ryobi, it feels like the DeWalt's about to fall off. So there may be something to that. Uh, stronger vibrations or what? I don't know. Either way. Uh, these are already pre-drilled technically, so 
let's just give this a shot. See how fast it can sink both of them down. On three. One, two. Let's uh, pull them out with the Ryobi and then put them back in with the Ryobi. Obviously, they're already pre-drilled, so it's easier, but... All right, let's see what this thing can do. Ready, go! Performance difference is pretty notable. Let's see if it went through. It barely, uh, probably about a quarter inch of the screw is sticking out on the bottom. It's really hot though. You can smell this wood. It smells like it's burning. You know what? It seems like I always forget something. Um, this time the uh, battery. So the tools themselves are warm. Nothing crazy. They're all about the same. I'd say the Dewalt's slightly hotter. Um, and then the Ryobi's got, I don't know if you could see it, but it's got all full bars remaining. So uh, most of the charge left. And then the DeWalt only does three bars, but it's got two of the three. So that actually drained it down some more, which I'm not surprised because it felt like the DeWalt was struggling more. And the Ryobi struggled less. Plus it's got a larger gas tank basically to begin with. So, um, so there you go. That is the uh, test for now. I'll uh, have to think of some bigger stuff, maybe even some bigger bolts, uh, some uh, some half inch holes, maybe uh, going up to a whole inch. I got some uh, impact rated um, uh, hole cutters, so see what that can do on these guys. But until next time, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and Stay tuned. Uh, I've got a whole lot more coming this way. Stuff like this, uh, unboxings, reviews, DIY stuff, how-tos, pretty much everything. Even some cooking and travel stuff, more than likely. Until next time, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this beautiful view I got out here and hope to see you again. Peace.